You got to remember that in spirituality, when you're saying that you want to help people, what you're really saying is hospital. <laughs> and so who are you going to get? Sick people. We have hospitals. You walk in the hospital when? When you're sick, they're available to help you and get you better. Well, that's what they're supposed to be doing. We're really doing it. But at times, you know, that infection of these different kind of people who are sick in different ways gets us all routed and divided. Then it starts to corrode the things that we spent so much time putting together. So then you got to start from scratch, quarantine, reclean everything back out, rebuild it again. Like what Ukraine's going to look like when they're finally done with it. Hopefully it doesn't look like Baghdad. So these are real times and they're real people. Like sometimes you can get into this. This is just how distorted TV has made the mind. Sometimes you even be thinking, man, is this even real? Is all of this even real? Or am I just in some kind of back to tank jacked into like some kind of cerebral system that is just projecting all of these images of distortion all around me. And all I need to do is just ignore it all. This is like the advanced conscious plausible deniability because look at the people around you. Look at your mother. Look at if you have anyone else that you love and you will watch them move as their own prime mobiles. They're their own people and they're in this with you. And if you think this is all fake, go jump on a plane and land off in Ukraine right now and see if it's all just fake and on the news. This is very real. This is a high stakes game now we're playing. Our goal is, is to awaken as many beings as possible to themselves. Is it going to happen for everyone? No. It wasn't designed like that. The, the system is not designed for everything to be awake at the same time. You have riped on the tree of life. That's why you're at this phase of the awareness of who you truly are. And then for us, we want to spread that seed as much as possible. We're the funk and dating components to spread that seed as much as possible so the person can reflect on who they are also and co go through their process of awakening. But guess what? Nobody can cheat. There's no shortcut, unfortunately. But what we can do is make the journey and the path straight for your feet by bringing you right to the wisdom and the knowledge and the application rather than taking you off on some path with some golden dons or some Freemasons or some church or, or, or some, some, some fake monks or somebody else who still has yet to just come clean about what the stars are, what the language is, who these gods are, et cetera, et cetera. Just right now, like I did, so clear in a way where all your high and holy soft speaking and all your special foods and bells and twinkling robes and ribbons and shit don't mean anything when bombs start dropping and people are trying to figure out where they're going to take their soul next. So if you're interested <laughs> in coming back to yourself and, and you're still in there, you know how they say with a virus, are you still in there? Is he still in there? If you're still in there, you have graduated. Now, as you entered into this year, I'm sure many of us felt like January 1st, it's like, okay, we had New Year's resolutions and all these different things. And you start feeling like you kind of got off to a late start. You're like, damn, I said I was going to do this, this, this this year. Remember, the year hasn't began. Everything that you've been doing is actually to get you prepared for March the 22nd. The choosing of the Easter for male and female alike is like a wedding. You're going to choose the energy that you choose to be with for the next term. If you mess around with bid and if you mess around with put, then you'll just be gambling and you will lose. The casino is always going to win. The house is always going to win.